Hello everybody, it's me again. Uh, today we're not making a dev video, I'm just gonna get right to it. We're starting a, a video on 7 Days to Die Alpha 20. We're just gonna start a single player world. I've already been playing the experimental with my friends. Didn't record it though, because I didn't think it would get very far. Um, didn't think it was gonna, you know... Like, I thought it was gonna corrupt after uh, experimental was finished didn't, but we'll keep playing it, uh, but I thought we're too far in to be starting to make videos, so I'm going to make a single player, um, video by my, myself, I do love this game a lot, so I'm willing to make videos on it, so, um, it's a little different from the little dev videos I've been making recently, or the really stupid, um, videos where I'm sitting there and laughing, uh, like a, um, so, first of all, I'm going to be showing you, uh, a lot of people like to just get to the point and start the game. I'm going to show you the settings that I'm actually going for, so we're going to go right through here. So we got the server visibility, that doesn't matter, difficulty settings. I think we should crank that up to Nomad, just to make it a little more difficult. So let's take a look here. Um, Daylight length, 24 hour cycle, 60 minutes. Interesting. We should keep that at 60, but, um... Let's see here. Okay, so we're ready to move on to the next thing. Blood moon frequency every 7 days. You can't change that. I mean, like, you can, but I'm not changing that, because that's, that's literally the name of the fucking game. How can you change something like that and say that you're playing 7 days and die? You're not. Changes. I'm playing eight days to die, not fucking seven days to die. We're playing seven days to die today. So, um, blood moon range zero days. I mean, we want it to be one day, you know. Blood moon warning, warning. We'll keep it that way. Zombie day speed walk, sprint, sprint. Uh, blood moon. We'll turn it up to nightmare. Feral sense. Now that's an interesting one. I've actually played around with it. It does make the game difficult sometimes, but, um, I think what we're gonna wanna do is, let's do during the day, it's night time, I don't plan on recording during the night, it's night, um, so we're gonna switch that to day, so zombies are gonna detect us a lot easier, um, Persistent profiles, that doesn't matter. XP multiplier, we're gonna keep that normal. Um, just to make the game more, you know, difficult, I would say. AI block damage. Keep those two on regular. Blood Moon, let's switch it up to 125, why not? Loot Abundance, let's keep it at 100. Loot respawn time every seven days, drop on death everything, drop on quit nothing, blood moon count, let's jump that up to, uh, 24 enemies. I mean, if there's a point that we can get up to 64, let's just, that's not a smart idea, let's at least put it up to, what's it, double, we'll do it on double, 16 enemies. Enemy spawning on airdrops. We want that every day, so that's gonna be a little, our little catch to the reason why we're making things a little more difficult for us. Mark airdrops. We're gonna do that too, because that's usually how it used to be, but they changed it. Do respawn time every seven days. That's good. like having this single. So this is making the game harder. This is making the game harder. This is definitely making the game harder. This is definitely making the game harder. So we got uh, this. So one, two, three, four, five. Five different things making the game difficult, and we got two different things making the game harder. So I'd say that's pretty balanced. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is only so I don't think we have to actually worry about this. So we're going to start 
started here. I've already generated the world, so we don't have to worry about that. We're just going to go ahead and start the game. So if you guys think my settings are realistic and uh, are reasonable, let me know. If you guys think that there should be something that changes in the future or uh, changes throughout this playthrough, let me know. Um, I'll try and see what is reasonable and or what I believe is reasonable. Sometimes I'm not the most reasonable person. I also got this game installed on an M.2 SSD, so this game's gonna be running pretty damn good now. Before it was running like, uh, it was running pretty shit, not gonna lie. I mean, it, it, one tip for anybody who's planning on getting this game or has it already and doesn't understand why it's not running good besides, like, you, you've checked your specs, you checked everything, you don't know exactly what's causing the issue, get it on an SSD. I don't even care if it's not an M.2. I know M.2s are expensive. Just get it on an SSD. It's definitely the way to go. The game runs so much better. It just needs a lot more memory. You'll still have little freakouts like that. Like it just lagged for a second. But it's definitely not as bad as it was. And make sure to optimize your settings as well. So we start out. We're actually... Uh, yeah. So. We got that starting thing. So. Um, and we can read it. It's just a friendly reminder that you pay on time every time or there will be consequences. Next time, won't we won't be so nice. Thanks for the gear, but you still owe us. See you soon, the Duke. Um, he used to be the Duke of Navasgain, but, uh, I guess they changed that because this is a novice game. This is a random gym world. Um, so already we're spawning in, and... There's a huge town. That's one thing that they did a really good job on so far with this game was um, they got the generation perfect now. Like it is, it is really good. So let's take a look at some weapons that we could possibly craft. So first of all, we're gonna want a stone axe. So we gotta get some stones. Also, we actually have a quest. Where's your quest? I think it just like... I think the quests are just completely... I think I just glitched the game. Huh. That's definitely a problem. It doesn't look like we even got a starter quest. <laughs> That's... It's definitely not good. Can we read this again, or...? Do we seriously not have that starter quest? I mean, that, that's pretty good. I mean... We, we kind of need that. I mean... I wonder if it's like waiting for me to kind of do something just yet. So I made an axe. Still nothing. That's not good at all. That, that means we basically just got screwed actually. That makes the game a lot more difficult. We just missed out on a bunch of, bunch of points. And it's actually not going to show us where the trader's at. So, I'm not going to restart over that, but that's not good. <laughs> I've never seen it glitch out like that, but I think it's because right when I loaded into the game, I closed right out, just to make sure that it didn't start. I think I should restart, actually, because, uh, that's pretty damn important, not gonna lie. Can I read this? <laughs> I 
Well, I, I suppose we'll be right back, people. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> 